Alright, you're here on a Monday with Barry and Leanne and Keiko. We're just doing our typical 530 look and there's the top. That top wood is going to be the top height. You can see the framing they're making right now is the template for the roof line. You can see the boards now are all in place. For, again, that will be all cement and rebar filled, all where the braces are, right there. Where you can see JM on there on the wood and M. Okay, all of that stuff's going to be filled with cement, rebar as well. And now you can start to see the roof line. Uh, I'm glad the weather's working with us again. We got the front bracing done by the garage. You can see that there starting to really take form here, okay? Three of us, we'll talk to you soon. It was a great day of production. All right, real quick, because uh, it's a windy day. Um, there you have the roof line, okay? Starting to take shape now, visually, you can see the concept. Okay guys, now we're really starting to get the upper roof line done. They're finishing up up front. I'm going to do the best I can because it is really windy here today. So uh, the last few days we've had nothing but wind. So you'll have to bear with me if it's not great. But definitely the roof line's coming out. You can see the jog. They're still working on it. We're not going to get in their way. but. Won't be long now, and this uh, they'll be filling this with the uh, plywood sheets. And Jago and Keiko and Junior will just got us going for so far. Everything. I wish my other homes went this smooth. Honest, honest to God. Wow. Mm -hmm. Leanne did a really good job on this multi-angle roof. It is very nice. It's going to be. Anyway. Um, as things develop, we'll keep you in touch. Yeah, we were just doing some pictures of the roof line from above, and uh, Leanne doesn't know I'm filming this, but... Just <laughs> kind of giving an afternoon snack to our neighbors. you we're gonna have our samples as I come around to the house we'll have our color samples and textures uh, for our patina which is going to eliminate the need for exterior painting uh, yet again you're here with old Barry uh, it's on a Sunday, so nobody's here, but otherwise it's just too cluttered when everybody's working. But this week, uh, we'll be getting the boards put up for the roof, and it won't be long, we'll have two roofs, one on the carport, one on the house. But this is what it's looking like, and you can see why I don't want to be in their way when there's 10 guys working in this kind of environment, lifting heavy things, okay? So we'll keep you in the loop, and everything, it's really progressing well. Okay, this is the outside roof line now coming into off the hip roof, the front, as to where the uh, front patio will be. Well, you're here with Barry on a Monday, and uh, they're starting to put up the plywood on the roof in here. And Keiko is, and I and Leanne just arriving at five o'clock. I have to meet somebody after, so we had to come a bit earlier, but. 
real soon we'll be done with what they call gray work okay the gray work here as they put up once these roofs are done we're getting close to the end of the gray work you know what that means that means another draw we'll talk to you soon everything's going just great Yeah, like I say, it won't be long. These guys do not mess around, okay? Planking's coming up for what will be on the roof. And it's coming along really well. So what's gonna happen? Keiko, they're gonna make thicker cement, right? It's gonna be like a thicker cement and then the same thing as below. The wood then gets once maybe five days of drying and then the wood kind of gets removed the same way. Yeah, that's what's gonna be. It's gonna be at least 20 centimeters of pure concrete and then it will last at least three weeks to dry off. Okay. Okay, that long. Okay. And all full rebar lace, right? Yes. Okay. Well. They're at it. Yeah, another overcast day, but lots getting done. I'm gonna zoom up here. As you can see, roof lines really making some progress. Huge. Boards are going. Well, here we are, uh, a little bit after five, and they're getting pretty much done with this part of the roof, as you can see. And we'll go step by step through it as they do the cement. And pretty much there you have it. So the next major thing they'll be doing is the columns, uh, the reinforcement rod columns along the side where the truss meets the building and uh, it's very interesting how they do it it was a good good thing to be learned even by myself okay we'll keep you in the loop but uh next big step is the roof Well, as more and more of the supports and wood is removed as things dry, you're getting a much better look of what will be my garage without all the poles in it. And uh, yeah, there's going to be a lot of room in here, but uh, it's kind of like my playpen. And this will be what it looks like going out the front door of it. And um, yeah, it's sure it's going to be nice to work in here and have some fun building a vehicle or two. Anyway, uh, glad I went with the higher ceilings. We'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.